Hi, my name is Ben Thomas, and I am a solutions engineer at GitHub. And today we're going to do a bite-sized demo of the Jira Cloud GitHub Enterprise Cloud integration. It's going to show you how you can use automation rules in Jira, as well as smart commits, to completely integrate the developer workflow into their Jira workflow. You're going to be able to manipulate Jira tickets and issues. Uh, to move between columns, add comments, and track time. You're also going to be able to track pull requests and different CICD all within Jira. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I've got my project board on the left. This is just a simple uh, project that's integrated with a uh, web app that is a definitive ranking of fruits. Uh, this web app is hosted on, uh, or the repository is on GitHub Enterprise Cloud. Uh, and I'm going to essentially add, uh, show kind of the step-by-step -step workflow of a developer as they take on a new issue, um, track it through development, and finally submit it to the main branch uh, where the issue will transition to the done state. So um, I'm going to accomplish this in two ways. So. I mentioned earlier that Jira has automation rules. These are different links that Jira has into your version control uh, that can you can create automation that way. So I've identified a couple automation rules in this project. I've done a uh, branch trigger. So whenever a new branch is created where the name of the branch matches a Jira issue, that Jira issue is automatically moved to the in progress column. I've also added an automation rule that whenever a pull request is merged uh, with the Jira issue as the name of the pull request, that Jira issue then gets moved to the done column. So I'll show that off as well. And then the second feature I'm going to be highlighting is smart commits. So Jira supports smart commits, which are uh, essentially when you do your commit message for your code change, if you start your commit message with the Jira ticket uh, or, or issue ID, you can then use the comment time and transition keywords to add comments to the JIRA issue, uh, log time that was done uh, working on that JIRA issue, as well as transition that JIRA issue to a new column. So I've got my, my web app opened in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to make some uh, changes to the readme. Um, and then I am going to uh, add this to a new branch and commit it up to GitHub. So I'm going to check out a branch with the where the name of the branch, uh, at least the start of it, matches my high YouTube Jira issue. And then I'm going to commit this to uh, GitHub. So now when I uh, refresh my project board, you'll see that my high YouTube issue has moved to the in progress state. And you'll also see when I click into this issue that uh, I've added that comment that was part of my commit message. Uh, and it's also tracked a bunch of my different development characteristics on GitHub. So in this development field here, you'll see that a new commit was made and a new branch is created on this issue. And if I open this up, I can see all the branches associated with the Jira issue, all the commits that have been made, pull requests, uh, and CICD builds, which we'll get into soon. So that was adding a comment with a smart commit. Um, I'm going to add some more amazing changes to my uh, readme. And now I'm going to log some time with a smart commit. So that's, again, going to be my JIRA issue uh, followed by the time keyword. Uh, and this follows a standard syntax of weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds. So I'm going to add four hours and 45 minutes of uh, work time on this, on this task. Now when I open this up, uh, you're going to see that four hours and 45 minutes of time tracking for this JIRA issue. And you're also going to see that second commit come in. Um, so you're going to really be able to get a total scope of all the development that's been done on this issue so far. Something that smart commits also support, in addition to adding comments, time log, and transitioning issues, is that you can actually chain these keywords in a single commit. So 
for example, if I wanted to add uh, some comments, some time tracking, and transition this issue to the top secret column in one commit, I can do that uh, here. So I'm going to go ahead and make some final amazing changes uh, to my readme. I'm going to push this these changes up to GitHub. And then when I, uh, so I've added some time tracking, I've added the almost done comment, and then using the uh, hashtag symbol followed by the column I would like to move this issue to, when I refresh my project board, you'll see that my high YouTube issue has gone from in progress to the top secret column. So I've finished my development work on this feature. Uh, now what I wanna do is from Jira, uh, I can see all of my time logged, my comment has been added, and my commits. Now what I wanna do is open a pull request on this working branch. So within Jira, I can actually see the branches that I've been working on for this issue. And if I hit this create pull request, it's gonna go ahead and open the pull request in GitHub. Uh, so now I want this pull request to match the issue that I've been working on. I'm gonna go ahead and create pull request and that's gonna kick off my GitHub action. That's gonna run my unit tests for this uh, code base. So you see those, those have been kicked off in the check. You can see them in the actions tab. And now when I go back to the project board uh, and uh, reopen this issue, you'll see now that it's updated with that open pull request. It even can see the GitHub actions that are currently running, uh, which are currently shown as incomplete. Um, you can see that status in this development window. So. Once these builds finish and I see that my feature addition of amazing readme documentation has not broken uh, any of my existing app functionality, I'm gonna go ahead and merge this pull request. And now you're gonna see the final uh, automation for this issue. So it has moved from the top secret column to the done because I had that automation rule defined where whenever a pull request was merged associated with a specific JIRA issue that it would move it to the done column. And now if I want to see that historical uh, development work in this JIRA issue, I can see the pull request that was merged. I can see that the build pull request builds have finished. And now also, uh, now that I've merged it into the main branch, it's kicked off my deploy to Heroku GitHub action. So. That is kind of your uh, quick Jira Cloud, uh, GitHub Enterprise Cloud integration. You can see there's a lot of different uh, tools that developers can use to kind of quickly manage their Jira work all within their developer, work, developer workflow on GitHub. Um, thank you so much.